the high Arctic, the ice rules. Ice shapes everything, the weather, the wildlife, the food and the landscape. By clawing and grinding, ice has sculpted the lands, creating inhospitable peaks and cliffs. But every summer, these cliffs open their doors to visitors. Birds move in, with cliffs overlooking ocean, providing both safety and easy access to food, black-legged kittiwakes successfully breed here. And this is the Manhattan for birds, the Alkefellet Cliffs in Svalbard. About 60,000 pairs of thick-billed mules nest here. They lay one egg on the bare rock held in place by its excrement. With only shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder space, the parents take turns in their duties. When the 12-hour grueling shift is over, it is time for a good bath. The bird appears carefree for the moment, but great challenges lie ahead. When the chicks are ready to fledge, they have to take a leap of faith. The chicks cannot fly, so they glide from this cliff to the water, ably guided by the father. And things don't always go right. And there are others who know that. A glaucous girl swoops in to grab a check that did not make it to the water. While the gull is large and strong, it is unable to strangle or shear the check, bringing instant death. The gull drags the check through the rocks into the water and tries to drown it. And finally, the long ordeal comes to an end. The chick puts on a final struggle as the gull swallows it as a whole. An arctic fox is also on the lookout. With food dropping from the sky, she has to be relentless and work round the clock. She scales the rocks to find any trapped check. Not finding any, she climbs the sides of the cliffs. Finally, a chick rolls down and is already dead. She doesn't eat it immediately. Instead, carries it to her favorite spot where she will bury it. The ground is her deep freezer that will keep the food fresh for her and her cubs to survive the harsh winter. Getting past these cliffs doesn't mean all is good. Sometimes the chicks are lost. This one is desperately calling out for its parents. But there are hundreds of chicks and parents calling out too, drowning its call. Will the parents hear this cry? Are these the parents? No. Time is running out. And miraculously, the chick reunites with the parents and the immense joy is evident. For reasons unknown, the mother departs. Her job is over. And now it is the father who will guide the chick to open waters and teach the ways of high arctic life.